everybody, it's Connie with Connie, Connie's Crafty Corner. I need to change the name of my uh, channel because I can't say it. I get tongue-tied every single time I make a video. Uh, but today I am uh, filming a video about my fe February roundup, the things I've completed this month. And trust me, this is going to be a short video because I've only got two things done and I've actually already showed them to you guys. Um, but the first thing, well, let me say this. The first thing that I want to show you guys is this card that I got from Crystal at Chroni Chronically Crocheting. Let me make sure I'm saying that right. Chronically Crocheting. She sent me this Valentine's card, and you guys, I've had this thing for several weeks, and I was so excited when I got it. I, I was so excited. I was showing my husband. It was like I was acting like a kid, um, but I have had it laying here to show you guys several times, my last several videos, and I keep forgetting to do it. And I stumble so much through my videos with the way I talk. I, I just didn't start my videos over to include it and or add a clip at the end because I, I really wanted, Crystal, I wanted you to know that I did receive it and I apologize it's so late. Uh, but at least I'm um, including it in my February video. So, but here's a little sticker she put on the inside, which I just think is adorable. She is the sweetest lady and I'm sure that most every one of you guys know her, but I will link her channel below. Um, she just, she just, brings me joy when I watch her videos. Um, but thank you again, Crystal. Okay, the first thing I finished, let me tell you the name of it. I've actually got some notes here because I stumble so much. I just want to make sure I tell you. It's the Perfect Worsted Weight Hat by Fox and Pine and Stitches. Fox, Pine, and Stitches. Um, I made this out of the Felici Worsted Weight Yarn. Let me see if I can get it. I've got it attached to another hat I've started. Well, I cast it on. I hadn't started it. And I actually cast it on too many stitches, so I got to start that over. This is by Knit Picks, and it's a four-weight yarn. And it's 75% superwash merino wool and 25% nylon. And my grandson is only five months old, and I have used... He's worn a hat that I made with this yarn and has had no issues with his skin. But I would check it, uh, you know, to make sure it's okay that the mother would like to, for wool to be used and um, anything like that. But he's use this, and I think the other one's called Swish, and it's 100% merino, superwash merino wool, and he's had zero issues with it, and he does have eczema, uh, and he had the cradle crap, crap, <laughs> the cradle cap and all that stuff, but honestly, it has not messed with his skin at all, and everything I've made him has been made by the Swish DK, which is the 100% superwash merino, Red Heart Super Saver, um, and this, this Felici, Felici, whatever. And I promise you there'll be a bunch of hats out of this uh, yarn because I've got, I think, one of most ever color that I ordered two or three years ago, not knowing what I was ordering. But it makes up beautiful hats. And let me show you. And you guys probably, if you've watched my videos in the past, have seen this. Um, this is the way it turned out. It's a knitted pattern. And it knits up super, super fast. Um, and I just love it. I don't know if it fits in because when he was here a couple weeks ago, I was actually making it, but didn't finish it because I was spending too much time loving on him. Um, and I get to go see him in a few days. And I'm so excited. Um, the other thing I finished, I don't actually have it with me because I sent it home with Sarah, was this sweater by Daisy Farm Crafts. And this is a free pattern on her uh, website, and I will link it below. And the hat was a free pattern. So, score. We got two free patterns done this year. Uh, month. And th another thing, I did forget about this. I finished, I've been working on dishcloths. That's something I just do whenever I am tired of working on what I've been working on or if I um, just have nothing to do. And I'm, I've am i lacked a lot of creativity this uh, month. It's been really hard. I have gotten in back into canning and um, that type of thing. And I'm getting all my supplies ready for that. And um, I bought me a new canner. I bought me an electric canner. And anybody that don't believe in those, I'm sorry, but I love it. I've already used it one time. Um, I think it was a Presto. I can't remember what kind it is. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm on this chair that's swinging me everywhere. But um, I canned some black beans the other day, and it just excited my soul to do that. I love doing stuff like that. Uh, so I'm getting everything ready, looking up canning recipes and stuff like that. So I've been spending a lot of time doing that. But here's why I carry my dishcloth. 
uh, supplies in. And this is a bag that Ella from No Catchy Name gifted me when we met for the first time. And I, Ella, I have used this thing so much. And I love it to carry my dishcloth supplies in because I love the size of it. I love the length of the handle. I, I just love everything about this bag. And I'm jealous because I can sew and I may could make this, but you just seem to crank these things out so well with two little kids running around. I'm just so impressed by your workmanship and how great these bags are. Uh, and I know they're very popular because it seems like every time she posts them, they sell out just like that. But I've got, these are all the dishcloths that I've been working on and I've got several of them. Uh, and this is all, oops, sorry. This is all made by, I think every, well, I think, some of this is dishy. This is dishy. And I can tell a difference. This is dishy by Nitpicks. And this is the peaches and cream, I think. Is that what that's called? You know, it comes on one of these. You can get them at Walmart. And you guys, I don't have the labels. I don't have a clue what the names are. But I've gotten one, two, three, four made out of that. I just dropped it. That brand. Well, it was five because I dropped one. And one out of the dishy. Um, I might have some more in here. I do, y'all. Hold on. I've got two more. I haven't woven in the ends. These are just mindless projects for me that I just sit down and do. But, um, and Ella, I keep talking about you. She had asked for people to knit her some in exchange for something that's something she did on her channel. And I thought, I'm going to try knitting one because I have never knit. I, that's a lie. I have knit a dishcloth. I've knit several dishcloths, but they were horrible. I did knit one that looked like a leaf. But I think I gave that away, so I don't even know where it's at. Um, but I thought, I'm going to go and go back to knitting some dishcloths because um, I do like the way they feel. But I'm, I'm fine washing dishes with my crocheted ones, but I'm wanting something. Y'all can see all those fibers going around. I uh, love a knitted dishcloth for a washcloth because that way I can tell them apart in the wash. I know what I've been using for my dishcloths, and I know what I can use for washcloths because they look different. And I know that sounds crazy. They go through the wash, but you know, I kind of don't want to mix and match them. Um, but that's all I have actually completed this month with my, um, I'm getting a text message and I'm getting distracted with my yarny crafts. But I did finish the romper that I made for Rowan and I put a picture of that in my last video. Um, but I do want to show you guys some fabric that I bought to make Rowan some more outfits. And if anybody's new here, Rowan is my grandson, my only grandchild. He's just turned five months old. And of course, I talk about him all the time. Um, and I tell you, when I when my children were young, they're turning 30 and 26 March, in the month of March. And I always have to think about that. It's terrible. I can't even remember how old I am half the time. Um, I made a lot of their clothes. I made a whole lot more of my daughter's clothes than I did my son's clothes because I hadn't really started sewing a whole lot when he was young. And you could not find fabrics for boys anyway. It was hard. I mean, you could, but it was very, very difficult. And um, that's still kind of the case. Because when I was looking for fabrics, I could find so many adorable things for little boy, uh, little girls. And like two times as much for little girls than you would find for little boys. But um, anyway, I did manage to find some cute fabrics for little boys. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Because the patterns that I've got show these bright, colorful fabrics that are kind of mix and match where you put two different, two or three different kinds of fabric in one outfit. And I couldn't find anything like that, but I think I did pretty good in what I found. Um, and now I'm just going to show them to you real quick. Now, when you order off joanns.com, you have to get two yards. And if anybody sews for babies, you know you need about a half yard for anything. So I told my daughter I foresee many pairs of pajamas in the future in these same fabrics. So, but this is the first one. It's got little mushrooms on it. And I thought that was adorable. And then I just got a, a plain navy knit. And I got this that's got snails and snakes and all the fun little things boys, you know, they associate boys playing with, whatever. It's got grasshoppers. I love that. And he's got blue eyes, so I think this will show up good. And then I just thought this was adorable, this space theme. So there's that one. And this is something I thought would be cute for the 4th of July. It has the little fish with the red, white, and blue and the little hat. I thought that was adorable. Um, and my son-in-law loves the sea, anything to do with the sea. He used to live in Florida. He was a big fisherman. Um, 
he did the diving snort whatever they call it deep sea diving snorkeling i don't even know what they call it i think it's when we had to get the license so is that the deep sea diving i don't really know so he loves anything to do with sea so i thought this was cute i'm trying not to show it to you upside down this is adorable and then i've got this one with the fish and then i've got this one at sea it's got the boats and the whatever that thing is that's a sunset with water so i'm excited to get started with these i've got to wash them all um and get get them ready excuse me y'all i'm sorry and get them ready to get cut out yeah cut out i've bought some patterns off etsy i love pdf patterns because when i use regular patterns i had a lot of the patterns that were you know printed on heavier paper in the past and um I would have to trace them. So the PDF, you can just print off the size you need, tape it together, cut it out, and go for it. And I'm sorry for you guys that are not interested in sewing, but I did just want to share a little bit of what else I've been working on. Now, my yarn purchase, I make no apologies for this. This is, I'm going to blame it on Crystal at Bag of Day, but it's really not her fault. Um, I'm going to tell you a little journey about my sweater. My sweater, for the the I think it's called Sweater Make Along 2023. And I hope some of you guys are joining it. I think I've read in a comment where one person I know for sure is. But if anybody's decided to join it, just uh, comment down below because I'd love to know. And if you hadn't joined my Facebook page, I do have a Facebook page that I'm not super busy putting stuff on it. I, I go through spurts. Um, but we could share what you're making there if you don't have a YouTube channel because I'd love to see. And if anybody's on the struggle bus like I am, Trust me, we're just going to stick to this and get it done. Um, I'm not going to show you the one I'm actually working on right now because I've got to film an update for March the 11th for that. But I do want to show you why I purchased this yarn. And no, it's not what I'm making my sweater out of. But I couldn't resist it. I was looking for yarn because the trouble I'm having is, is that I don't have enough of any one color of yarn to complete a sweater. I could do one that's got many different colors of stripes. I could do all that, but I didn't want to stress myself out over that because I'm already stressing enough over doing this sweater and I am knitting it. And my knitting skills are very limited. I've only been knitting for a couple of years. So, um, but anyway, I saw this when I was looking and it's very pricey and I make no apologies because I've done very well with my yarn shopping this year, but I did want to show you what I bought. Y'all, I got one of the Yarn Snob Power Balls. Now, if any of you guys have been watching my channel, y'all think, good Lord, Connie, that's not something you would buy. That is crazy because you don't go for the crazy colors and stuff. But this just spoke to me, y'all. I love it. I cannot wait to work on this. I know exactly what I'm going to make with it. And that was one of my caveats about when you buy yarn this year, you have to use it. And I'm going to make the exact same sweater that I'm making now for my sweater make along in this yarn because I think it would be just beautiful. Or I might make the happiness sweater and I'll put a link to it below that they advertise with this yarn. Uh, but I am trying really hard to break out of my comfort zone on colors. You know, I've told you guys this before. I was so ingrained in my head that I couldn't wear certain colors because I grew up as a redhead. I mean, it looks, you might see, well, Every once in a while you see a little red in my hair, but it used to be really red. If I can find a picture, I'll show it to you guys one day. I know I won't have it for this video, but y'all would be shocked at how redheaded I used to be. And I was always told you can't wear orange, you can't wear pink, you can't wear red, you know, things like that. And so I think that's why I've shied away from it, but I'm trying to do better because I think I can wear those things now because I don't have the glaring red hair to clash with it. And you know, and so what if it clashes with it? If I feel good in it and it makes me happy, I should just wear it anyway, right? Um, let's see, is that all I've bought this? I think that's all I've got to show you guys. I hope to be more productive next month. I am excited about the sweater that I'm finally working on. I've learned a lot of new techniques, um, and I'm sure it is absolutely riddled with mistakes, but I've just kept on going because I can't find them if they are there. So, excuse me, there goes my throat again. But, um, 
anyway, I'm look. I keep looking around like I got something else to show you. But um, I hope everybody's doing well, and I hope you guys decide to join in on the make along. I'll put a link to my first video that I filmed about it, and to the other ladies that are doing the make along with me uh, down below. And I'll link all these patterns. And I hope everybody's having a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.